He is the premier chef. He changed the course of food, the course of uh, California cuisine. You coined that phrase. Uh, met you when you were still a teenager. Uh, you were uh, in high school. I would know. No, no, <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. I, I no, well, yes. I did not pick you up in high school. <laughs> no, but, but, <laughs> he was a place to go. Of course, we're talking about renowned chef Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> and uh, you were at Mommy's Own at the time on yep. Melrose. And you were, everybody was talking about the sensation, the new sensation. Uh, you were, te you know, a te teenager at the time. You changed pizza. Yep. You took a pizza, you changed the face of pizza, and this is this is well, where we well, are today. You know, we talked about the quality of food and not so much like do you have to have this fancy dining room or whatever. So we keep things simple, yet very tasty. So when we started out Spargo Up on the Sunset Strip, it was really exciting. And I think we really changed. We had fun in the kitchen. Yes. We had fun in the dining room. So it was a whole new experience for people. So. Well, you also had a new experience for people because you had an open kitchen. Exactly. That was the first yeah. open kitchen uh -huh. really in any restaurant. Now you think there's no restaurant without an open kitchen. Right. But at that time, it was something totally new. People used to come up to me. Hopefully not to complain of. I don't think. I, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. But now uh, you have a new project that yeah. you're working on, and these ovens. I understand you can. Well, I'll let you talk about it, please. Okay. Well, yeah. this is a low pressure oven. We came up. It's a world premiere. Actually, nobody has it. You cannot buy it anywhere. You cannot. Uh, nobody ever sold an oven like that. You know, people sold pressure cooker where you cooked something really fast under pressure. And I decided about four years ago when we opened a restaurant at the airport. I said, how can we make uh, an oven we cooks fast a chicken like I wanted to make roasted chicken basically to order you know right. and it was impossible to make one that big for a restaurant where I could put in four so then we said okay let's start with a smaller one and we always are very involved the way people eat at home you know we want the families to eat healthier to eat better and an oven like that where you can cook a turkey 12 to 14 pound turkey in under an hour that you never what? saw a thing like that. Oh yeah. God. Really? Under an hour? And under an hour. So you can come home at 6 o'clock after work, put a turkey in the oven. Now, even uh, much faster with the roasted chicken. It has a rotisserie in it. So you can go to the hairdresser, put the rotisserie on. There you go, Mark. You can go to the hairdresser <laughs> and make dinner <laughs> for the boys. She does. And make dinner for the boys. He does. Right? I will just, uh, he Kim wanted me to ask. I didn't know you go that often to the hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> Kim wanted to know does it come with directions to actually identify what the oven looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang, they harassed me, and you and I worked together, yep. right? So I know. Didn't, couldn't I even cook in this? She knows where the bedroom is. The kitchen, not the <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah, other rumors. I don't yeah. know. Oh. I'm not speaking from experience because I'm in the kitchen. He's all in the, the time. kitchen. Now, all right, but, can I ask you though? But sir, yeah. what is the what causes it to cook so quickly? What is well, the secret? You know, the a pressure cooker when it's under pressure. Uh -huh. You know, it can be how many atmospheres is yeah. under pressure. So this one is a low pressure, so it cooks it much faster because it actually gets much harder inside. Mm -hmm. So. How do you how do you get the crispiness? You know what? That's the funniest thing is we worked on the right amount of heat. So that way, not only it cooks it under pressure, but also it browns it beautifully. And also, it will get the skin crispy. So when you make a rotisserie chicken here and you take it out after 40 minutes, let's say, depends the size, obviously, it is perfectly crispy and so moist inside. I made one this morning to show my chefs at Spargo, and they said, this is impossible. I had him cook it in the oven at Spargo. It took longer. We have very big ovens and very high-powered ovens. It took them longer, but the skin was dried out. Mm. Wow. And the, and the meat was dried out, especially the pressed it, meat. When I, back in the day, I used to work at a restaurant, and they had the, the broasters for the deep-fried chicken that you would seal it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you worked at Kentucky Fried so Chicken? I <laughs> <laughs> oh, you whoa, gave me the whoa, whoa. <laughs> Were you the hand waiter there? Yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> okay. Um, I Hands couldn't, like I couldn't, is, huh? I couldn't use my other skill sets that Kim has to make my way up the ladder. <laughs> oh! oh. 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 You started wow. this. Wow. Okay. Thank you. But it's it's it. similar, that similar process. That's how that families I, are made, you know? True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's that same idea as taking it and pressurize it. There's just the Ex oils involved. With exactly. It. But here it's co completely natural. You can maybe roast like a chicken like that. This yeah. is a big five pound chicken. You can roast it in 40 minutes. Uh -huh. You put a little olive oil on it and That's it. a we little garlic one. in it or rosemary, depends what you like. Look, or, we have one in there right now. Yeah, we put look, in like 15 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, look it's already it starts, crisping up. Yeah, it starts to brown already, so well, in a few minutes. Well, what do we also have? Also, one of my favorite things, you know, people 
like me, I love pork. I grew up with pork and it's really very tasty and everything, but we never try to cook it at home because it always dries out. Now in this oven, you can cook it perfectly tender and juicy. So what I do is I'm gonna stuff it with some dried fruit, so to make it a little better looking and also tasty. It's a great dish for any party you do at home. So you cut underneath the ribs just like this here. What kind of dried fruit do you have there? Well, Rex? I have some apricots here and then Okay, prunes, and then prunes, raisins, whatever you have. So well, that was very easy opening yeah, it up you, like that. Yeah, you just have to stay next to the bone here. Okay. So it's really important. And then you season it with a little salt and pepper. I can't believe he's in our kitchen. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did a, a, a video. At that time, they still had video with Christina, and she showed me how to make a pasta with anchovy, garlic, and parsley, and olive oil. I still remember, and yeah. a little oh. spice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what is it, AM Los Angeles? Yes, we did oh AM Los God. Angeles, Steve. Wow. Yeah, we go back yeah. a long I time. I know. Yeah. See? It's not that long only. Well, what? It just <laughs> seems like it. It is, sure. 2002. Oh, okay. thank you for right. that, Buck. <laughs> That's when there was only AM, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yet? Is that no, no late night TV. See how he turns? I know. Okay. okay. That's an easy target. Okay, so okay. now I mix them right in here and put some prunes in here too. You decide what you have at home. There could be maybe some dried cranberries, dried cherries, cherries. yeah, whatever, dried peaches, you know, whatever you get, put them in here. Or, if you like it Italian style, put some breadcrumbs, cred crumb, cred some parsley, garlic, onions, chop up and put it together. Well, you make with it sound name, so easy. With, I know. Yeah. <laughs> with a name like you, we might have to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Ferrari. Ferrari. Who doesn't yeah. like a Ferrari? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we just fold it over just like that, roll it back together. Well, it comes right back together. You it can't comes even right tell. back together, yeah. We clean it up. I'll take that for you. Okay, you take that for me. And then we have a string here, so if we wouldn't tie it together, it would not stay together, so. Is there a secret to tying these things, or you just tie a knot? Oh, I think I show people how to do it the easy way. You just tie them, like uh, make a little knot, just like if you put it on your shoes or whatever. And then, now you can also go like this all the way through, or like the butcher do it even more complicated, but I right. show you like that, so it's easy. Right, so uh, then you're gonna put it into. Um, so we heat up the oven. All right. First what? season the outside, 450, and then roast it for about 40 minutes. That's and it. Yeah. Wow. So 40 no minutes for that. Uh, yep. Yeah. You know that normally for a turkey, okay. they tell you 20 minutes per pound.